Something, something sugary and something sour every every Sunday night, 12 o'clock. Um, we got a, a a very interesting show tonight. We got my man Ron Sim McDowell. He's a photographer, and he's been a photographer for a long, very long time. And it's very rare that the that the art of photography is still done. Per, it's it's actually still done professionally, but but a lot of the legends have have gone on one Pulitzer prizes. And Ronson does he does a lot of community, and he he does celebrities, and he does community work, which is is not a lot of photographers don't lease their time to community activity. So it's going to be an honor to have him on the show tonight, and we. We are getting ready, like I said, for um, for more, more, more shows. So if you want to show us some support, go. Don't forget to go to our website and uh, sponsor. And uh, if you want to be a guest anytime, let us know and uh, get in touch with us. Or if you have any questions about any of our people we have on our show, you can also get in touch with us as well. Now we're gonna get into the gist of the matter here. Now I got to get to my top eight shows. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my top eight stories that made it throughout the week. In the, in the news and the, throughout the month so you can be informed and have something to think about in your spare time. All right, let's get to story number one. Story number one that made it in the media this week. Did the Clinton campaign really burn one billion dollars? Do you know there's a story in a re, there's a story reported by Van Jones. He states that the Clinton campaign took one billion dollars. Yes. And they said they, she, they set it on fire. That's amazing. Now, I don't know how true this report is, but if politicians are burning money, then they're setting a bad example for people like me who need to spend the money. Now, let, 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 me, let me get my list together of things I would have been able to do with that money that she burned. First of all, I would have been able to stimulate the economy. I would check that off my list. I would get a brand new suit. I would check that off my list. And I would not vote for any more nutcases. I would check that off my list. And I would stop paying my taxes. <laughs> and I would feel much, much better. Let's get to story number two. All right, the Trump, Trump sets a record for historical arrest and declines of legal immigration at the border. So there's been a decline in the illegal immigrants getting across the border and just a decline in the country, period. And some people are looking at it good and some people are looking at it as bad. Now reports say that Border Patrol officials are very pleased that the new crackdown has taken place. Now, I don't want to get too happy because there are metal detector radars that have been going off pretty pretty well of some activity going on underneath the ground. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You better watch before you get too excited about that story. Story number three. A prisoner spends 17 years in jail because of a lookalike. So this man spent 17 years of his life in jail because he looked like somebody else. The story reads, a U.S. prisoner was freed after doing 17 years in prison. Once, once the lookalike was found, they set him free. Now, this is amazing. Now, reports say that other prisoners are now hiring lookalikes to get off. <laughs> story number four. 
Melanie Ch Melania Trump, her son, Barron, is set to move into the White House. You know, the Trump family, uh, they're just uh, about finishing, they're just about finishing getting all moved into the White House, and I guess Melania Trump's son will be joining the bunch. And now the family, all they have to do, they just have to decide what they want to do with the Sam Cooke CDs that the Obama family left behind. <laughs> Story number four, Katy Perry says that she has struggled with suicidal thoughts. That's unbelievable, seeing that you're a superstar, but just like normal people, they go through heartache too. All right, it says, some reports have surfaced of the talented performer Katy Perry's struggle with suicidal thoughts. Yes, and after her confession, counselors say they used old reruns of Martha Stewart to ease her mind. <laughs> story, I, I don't make, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Story number six, California student not allowed to wear his uniform, his army uniform, to his graduation. Yes, a student in California who wanted to walk in his graduation with his army uniform was not allowed at all, reports say. Mm -hmm. And It's a Hard Knock Life will now be playing for service members and recruits to gain pardons from the public. <laughs> Story number seven in the last two stories that made it into the mediator, and then we'll get to our our show. Story number seven, a huge sinkhole swallows up a car in Florida. Amazing. Now reports say a driver escaped from his car while a huge sinkhole swallowed up his car in a checkers parking lot in Florida. That's amazing. People makes you think the world is coming to an end, all right? But it says now, restaurants will now be developing the underground drive through to keep customers happy. Just in case <laughs> story number eight, and the last lucky number eight ball story that made it into the mediator this week and this month. A New York senator is on the radar for dropping the F bomb in a speech. Reports state that in frustration with the president, a senator from New York drops the drop, he dropped a few F bombs when referring to the president. Amazing. You know, some say referees were hired just in case the senator wanted to choke slam a reporter. <laughs> had that happened before, so we won't let it happen again. Well, thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the stories. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't turn the dial. We'll be right back. We have Ronson R McDowell from Ronson Originals on the show tonight, and he'll be displaying his talents and some of his uh, work. We'll be right back. You're in the media with Brian West. <laughs> dreamer out of the story and you trap some of the elite and the citizens inside of the imagination and then you just kind of see where the story goes you've taken these people and put them in a fake reality what are you doing you must guard the citizens with your life i have a feeling that mother time has started a war the Lord of Escobar interfered. Every elite is going straight to hell. How did we get here? I think you're crazy. You've always been a little bit crazy. Why do you think human sleep so much? Wait till after the second moon. I will not have some boy with an imagination ruin my time. Hell, we have lost everybody. The imagination is our biggest weapon. Do you think they die? Luna, we've been chosen. I alone control time. Dreams are my enemy. We don't even know where we are right now. Would you stop asking me so many questions? How do I find my son? Your dreamer has opened up my imagination. Now I have to figure out how to use it. It makes me wonder if anything else is real. Enough! Enough of this! There is the pool. One of you took your eyes off of the light. <laughs> Do 
you know how much time you've spent with me so far? Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, this next guest I have coming on is a very, very inspirational man. He is, uh, has done a lot of work, not just with celebrities, but he has leased his time to local talent as well. Spends his whole life with the camera and I'm very, very, very uh, grateful to be able to meet this man. He does, he does it, is, it is very rare that you, well, you find professional photographers, well, people who've been doing it for so long and they, uh, they find ways to, to, to put it in their everyday lives to help others. I want to welcome to the stage the man, the, mis the, man, the myth, and the president of Ronson Originals, Ronson McDowell. <laughs> Blessing. So I, I guess the main the main thing is, is tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into photography? Well, to make a long story short, I love photography. I've always been a person that loves scenery. I um, have appreciation for beautiful women. And so around the seventh grade, I started, I got a little camera, taking pictures of people, taking pictures of scenery, and end up going to college at Youngstown State University. Took, oh, a, oh, took up oh. photography in 1983. Yeah. And of course, I was dibbling and dabbling when I was in high school before I made my transition to college. And it's just been a passion of mine. In every sense. Now, um, I, I was interested in that because what are some of the, like, the things that you. I, I was reading a, a very good book about the, the history and what photographers have to go through. And they always tell you if you think you're going to get rich off photography, you got another thing coming. So tell us some of the some of the things that you've been through just being a photographer. I mean, that is very correct. This is not the type of business that you're going to get rich off of. I would say that you definitely have to have passion. Yeah. I've been, you know, in positions where people owed me money mm -hmm. and I did the complete jobs. Um, yeah. yeah. They never paid me my money. Uh -huh. Maybe they put half down and that's all I saw. Yeah. Um, and so sometimes you will come through un unforeseen and unfortunate circumstances like that where you don't always get compensated for your, your time and your yeah, work and your energy. Yeah, yeah. Now, so, so now you work, you work with the inner city sometimes, the youth, That's correct. Um, young girls, and, and sometimes uh, men and, and women, can they, they, it, it, it becomes complicated sometimes, but this is something that you love to do and you've stuck with it. Tell us how, how, how that has been having to, to be able to try to, to get young women in, into, into the business and, and still be able to maintain professionalism. Well, that's very challenging. I would say the first thing is my wife. Uh -huh. um, she supports me a lot. I've been married, actually going on 26 years oh, of marriage. Wow, that's honorable. This month on the 29th, will very be, honorable. June 29th will be 26 years of marriage. And so it, it does have a lot to do with my wife in terms of her being one of my major sponsors, um, helping out you know, with the clothing, helping out with the finances for gas and things of that nature. And the other thing, it is very challenging because at one time I had 50 models under contract and they range from anywhere from 16 to 25. Um, some of the young ladies are very attractive. And of course, you know, I'm a man, even though I'm a married man, you still see attractive ladies and you're, you're excited by them, but you do have to be, be professional. And um, normally what I do is I just take a break and say, hey, yeah. you know, let me go you know, check out some of the pictures or what have you and mm -hmm. just calm down a little bit. <laughs> now, 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 now you, you, this is a new environment and um, people are, the, they're, they're using Photoshop a lot. And, and But, but your, your, your photography is unique. Tell, tell us what's unique and a little bit about some of the qual some of the differences that you, that compare you uh, in regards to other photographers. Well, Brian, that's a great question. Um, around maybe ten years ago, I started off, and I started at the Southern Park Mall. They were having like a big um, photo session, and all of these big conglomerates were out there, and all these big businesses were out there. And I had my table set up for eleven days. Um, at the time, I didn't know anything about Photoshop. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know anything about post-edit. And a lot of these guys that have these big 
studios would come over to my table and they say, hey, you got a good eye. You yeah, got a great you do. eye. You, you got do. a great eye. And I kept wondering, like, why do they keep telling me I have a great eye? <laughs> yeah. You know, and then I had to start studying what that meant. And they said, you know, you don't touch up. I said, no, what, what do you mean? I just take the picture. And they said, well, I could tell that, that you don't touch up. They're, you know, they're, they're really great. You got a yeah, great eye. Yeah, yeah. And at first I thought they was just trying to, like, appease me. But after about the eighth day, and all these different great photographers kept coming to me, I said, well, you know what? Maybe I can go professional with this and start my own business. Yeah. Now we had we had your daughter. We have her on the show. Uh, she had, she was on. Now um, it, it, I thought it was kind of ironic and kind of unique. I always it, it, people always like question if there's something greater happening in the universe. But uh, do you feel like it's a blessing to have a daughter who's been able to help you along the way? Absolutely. Uh, my daughter India Raven. Um, she, she, she pretty much introduced me to the internet in terms of MySpace. So that yeah, was like that's a, how it <laughs> well over 10 years ago. Yeah. And she came to me in short and was like, Dad, there's something called MySpace. I'm like, who's space? And she's like, well, it's a social media network. Yeah. And, um, we started off with actual webcams. Okay. And so I remember the first time, <laughs> testing, testing, you know, yeah, and I yeah. jumped back, you know, because yeah. you see yourself on the TV, <laughs> on the monitor and everything. Uh-huh. And from there, um, we just we just went and took it from there. We started, you know, with the webcam. We started doing little um, daddy and daughter DJ. We started photography. We started um, doing little skits, and it just when it just it took off. It took off from there. So so now you talk about technology a little bit. Tell us some of the pros and cons since you've been you've been around right. and you were you were probably in the film age. You Absolutely. know, Super 8, 8 uh, tracks and, VHS. you know, VHS. <laughs> and uh, so so coming from, I had to actually, you know, be in brand, well, I, I've been doing a lot of things for a while, publishing books, right. but I had to I had to take it back. I went and got an old school photography book, <laughs> and it looks totally different yeah. from now. So, so tell us what some of the pros and cons that you've seen in technology. Well, back in the eighth grade, um, I used to shoot with a 35 millimeter. And if anybody knows about 35 millimeter, you don't see the pictures like the um, DSRLs. Yeah, DSL, DSL DSLR. Yeah, uh, LRs, excuse me. You don't, you don't see the, the picture right there when you take it. Uh, you got to go in the dark develop room, it. you yeah. got to develop it, <laughs> and you don't know which, which going to come out. Yeah, you know, sometimes yeah. it might come out good, sometimes it might come out bad. So that's one of the transitions right there. And like you said, I was working with um, VHSs, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know the camcorders that didn't yeah. have the USP ports. Yeah. You know, so it, 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 and now everything is just so interactive. Yeah. You can just pick up your cell phone and mm -hmm. you're just a couple of seconds from being off on the that, internet. That's that amazing. So you've, um, you've developed a relationship with a lot of celebrities. You've been, you've uh, photographed for the San Francisco 49ers. You've hung out with the DeBar Lowe's. Right. Um, you've done for YSU. Um, you even got models, uh, some famous mo celebrity models that right. you've uh, been taking pictures of. So tell us what that, what that's been like. Well, Let's start with uh, the famous uh, model that I'm working with. She's a, a fitness model, okay. actually a fitness guru, um, a life coach, Jennifer Nicole Lee. She actually has been on the cover, front cover of 95 magazines worldwide. Wow, that's amazing. That's good. I'm not talking about inserts, the front no, cover that's, that's actually of good. 95 magazines worldwide. And she's also a, a best-selling author. She published over 15 books. Wow. Actually, she's ghost writing or she wrote it herself? Um, no, she, she, she writes herself. Oh, okay. Wow, that's it good. It depends on what, what it's about. Some of them are about cooking, some of them about exercise. And um, actually, she's going to have me and my daughter, India, in her, her next book that, that she'll have. That so we did, great. That's we submitted great. our, our um, story for a chapter already. But Jennifer Nicole Lee, um, she was one of the first uh, females that when I got on uh, MySpace yeah. that I was really impressed with. I loved her pictures. I loved whoever her photographers were. And I said, you know what, maybe one day I could become a photographer professionally and have some models. And I would definitely um, do them after Jennifer Nicole Lee. So Jennifer Nicole Lee, um, maybe 10 years later, it was this year, I'm driving my car and my wife, you know, she really gets on me about texting yeah. the driver. So yeah. I stopped that and I pulled over, I looked, it was Jennifer Nicole Lee. She said, hey, you're one of the best photographers in the world. Yeah, you are. I yeah, want you to do a photo shoot for me. And I was floored. I mean, yeah. I was thinking, like like you said, I've met every celebrity I've ever wanted to meet or seen them in person. 
So I was just thinking, I just would love to meet her. Yeah, but yeah. But to actually be able to do her photo shoot was outstanding. Outstanding. She's probably, uh, she seems like anybody who can do 89 covers, if anybody's been in the business and they 95. And be able to maintain yeah. her level of confidence and her, her physique that long. So right. that's a big accomplishment. Now, I guess uh, before, before I go, before we go to break and, and, and we can get you, we're going to probably show some of your pictures. Okay. Now, before we go to break, uh, the question I have is, um, is you were spirit you were spiritually you were you were uh you were spiritually brought up right and uh and i think it was uh in um uh, what was it uh reverend um uh, bishop, bishop bishop wagner's wagner. church that's correct now we we look at how things have progressed and how your your daughter has grown out the womb right, so, right. so so you so do you believe that's divine intervention of, in, i do in, i was just um i sent a message to bishop wagner's uh daughter his firstborn, um, Christian Joy. Yeah. And I was telling her that she was talking about basically coming into your yeah. um, self-actualization and your awareness of who you are. And I was telling her that everything that her father, uh, Bishop Norman L. Wagner, told me has come to pass, has come That's to good. fruition. And so, yes, um, at the time, um, when he would counsel me and I would be in his office, I would talk to him about secular things yeah. because I felt that that's the direction God was leading yeah, me in. Yeah. And um, he, he confirmed it, and everything that he told me um, in his office has come to pass. That, and that, that's what I like about Jerron. A lot of, even, they, they're, a lot of people are hard on people who believe in divine thinking, and it, it's kind of rough, but, uh, but there's got to be something going on in the universe, especially when Absolutely. you see the way kids are coming up and they're coming out and they're and I was, like I was telling India it's a blessing that she's been able to have all of her parents around all of her siblings and been able to do that because a lot of people have not been that fortunate we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll, we'll be right back with the man the myth the legend from Ross and Originals Ross and McDowell we'll be right back after this break you're in the media with Brian West the late show <laughs> it was up to me Williams she be in a box right now there's no evidence that points to Daniels. Everything in this case points away from him. I know he did this. I think he's hiding with someone in the horse. If Wes did something, he would turn himself in. He did this to even the score. No man just kills his little girl. Why do they want me out of the picture? You were there. They saw you run out of the house. I'm telling you, Wes is not the killer. I can feel it. If innocent. It sounds to me like uh, we have some mistakes on the force. They want to take over the force, Wes. They want it all. If you push off the good cops, then you're one step closer to the king. Something big is going on. We have to come up with a defense plan quick. All we have right now are suspects. Now we need to start getting some faces so we can fight back. If someone killed your daughter, what would you do? I mean, would you give in or would you stand up and fight back? You're a disgrace to the have your badge, Bruce. Do you hear me? Wes is untouchable, unseen, and even untraceable. He has to make a mistake. He's human. I'm the only suspect. Something doesn't feel right. You wouldn't have room for a cut face of the real killer, would you? All the fingers are pointing to him. We don't need to know who the enemy is. The car is behind the mob's car. So, if you didn't tell your daughter who did... It was a setup. I should have taken the fast food job. You know what, Mr. President? All my life I've been waiting for this moment. I've seen you strolling around town, kissing babies, messing with your Twitter account. Well, you know what? You don't mess with a teen assassin because I am going to get straight to you. I'm going to knock you straight into the Social Security. And this is for Macho Man. Rest in peace. It's just going to ooze right into the wrestling ring. Fear the blade, baby. Oh, you think you just as sweet as honey and as smooth as a bumblebee. What well, I'm telling you now, assassin, messing with me is messing with the big time. The big boss man. And I'm going to whoop you, boy. I'm going to get you in that presidential suite. Woo! Yeah. And I'm going to tax you. And I'm going to take your health care. Ooh, yeah. You think you're going to sneak up on me and take away my greatness, boy? You think you're going to rip my head off and carry it with blood, boy? 
Well, I want to tell you right now, woo-wee, that you got another thing coming. Bring out the legislation, assassin, because the discipline is in the bills, baby. I won't be vetoing nothing, assassin. The beat down and the laws will be passed in the presidential suite this week. Oh, yeah. Woo, baby. Assassin. The assassin is looking to take him out. He drop kicks him straight off the stage in the stage match. Oh my god, punch him in the president is fighting back. He's gonna go for the DDT on the belt. What a match! Oh. President is knocked back and down. He picks up the assassin and boom, slams his. Oh, it looks like the president is blast, the assassin blasts him up against him. And it looks like the president is looking for the boom, but he falls down. The assassin is kicking him down while he's on the ground. Get up, Mr. President. Looks like the assassin is going for the pin. One. What? Oh my God! The president has got him in the presidential suite. He's got him in the presidential suite. It may be over for the assassin, folks. It looks like the assassin is going to tap out, and Mr. President is still the world the beast. You want to show? The president is the champion, and he's getting in the face of the assassin. All right, welcome back, welcome back. We are finishing up with my man Ronson McDowell from Ronson Originals, the CEO and president. He's been doing photography for how many years? Well, I've been doing photography, my business has been for eight years now. Okay, but you've been doing it since you Probably were seven. Probably since the seventh grade. Unbelievable, unbelievable. seventh grade. Now, uh, I guess the last question, and some of the last questions I have, who, who, who do have you worked with and who would you like to work with? Well, I've been fortunate enough to work with the uh, San Francisco 49ers, their five-time world champions through the president, owner, Denise DeBartlow York. I'm Good. her personal photographer. Um, I've been shooting for Youngstown State University they won four national championships. They've been to six good, good. Uh, under Trevor Parks. And I've also have shot for the Pro Football Hall of Fame going into my fourth year as a photographer for oh, them. That's a good, good. And I've been fortunate to shoot for uh, major fashion shows such as um, fashion shows in, in New York Fashion Week. Oh, excellent, excellent. Now, who would you like to work with? Uh, well, that's a great question. Um, it seems like I, I always listen to Rihanna Every time uh, I'm getting Rihanna? ready to do something, yeah. Every time I'm getting ready to do a major <laughs> event, Rihanna, if if this ever touches your <laughs> your lap or anything, uh, Ronson McDowell wants to work. You want to work with Rihanna? I would love to work with Rihanna, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Like I listen to her music videos, but I love how she dresses. I love her makeup. Yeah. Of course, a lot of my models, I like them to wear Mac, and she wears Mac. But I, I love Rihanna. I love her, her, her flair, her style. Yeah. And I just, I just think that she would be a person that would be excellent to shoot. for my camera to shoot. That's right. amazing. That's, I guess everybody's got their, uh, their cup of tea, you know. So uh, that's amazing. Now you're, you've got a, a happily married wife, and she's stuck with you. I guess the last question is, is at the, I always ask people at the end of your journey, what would you like to see change in the industry? Well, I would definitely like young people to be more respectful and more professional. Um, when, whenever you're going to a, a call or something like that, make sure that you, you're on time. Uh, make sure that you don't, you, you don't disrespect people's time. Yeah. Make sure that you come groomed. Make sure that you come prepared. Make sure that you've done your homework Yeah, you know, yeah. before that makes, you go. That's, that's a good thing. Well, everybody, you heard it from the man himself. Ronson McDowell, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show, Ronson. Thanks for having please, me. Please, please, if you want to show us some support, go to our website. All you have to do is either buy something, watch something, click on something, or read something.
And if you want to uh, you know, sponsor a program, you're more than welcome to. I want to thank you so much for tuning to the mediator with Brian West. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and her layer. You can either, don't you have a YouTube? How, how do people get in contact with you? Well, you have a Facebook page? We, we could go straight to the website because the website has everything on there. www dot one ronsonoriginal.com perfect perfect and ronson original and he he does uh shooting of so if you're a model out there an aspiring model and if you want to get in contact with him you want to get a, a foot in the business a foot in the door uh the network is open method is always there ronson is always there uh give us a contact i want to thank you so much for tuning to the media this week have a good safe week everybody and thank you for tuning to the media with brian west see you later peace
it's a new day. They say your thing ain't changed. I'm saying no way. I'm trying to tell them changing bills been the same way. You can't change, matey, so I'll still be so fake. So fake, screaming about how they be doing it. New car, new house, and a new chick. But that don't mean nothing if you ain't real. If you loving money, then just know you're broke still. No life, no truth, and no moral way. This stuff be killing you, but you telling it to stay. My dad's grandmama said that love will find a way. If you let it get connected, then you'll finally say It's time to make a change, I can't stay the same That's another song, let's get back to falling rain The new stuff that I'm on, gonna have to change the game How can we be unique if everybody is the same? Falling rain, falling rain, falling rain